Maxime Mermed looking for a spot on the oval podium. Lewis Buchanan, the man who stood on the uh, hot seat for a while yesterday. Those two for the battle. And actually living in the uh, inside the You expected to be uh, at that level yesterday? Honestly, no. Uh, top 30 for me yesterday and I would have been honestly really happy. These guys are on another level this year and I'm just not. So uh, happy to be in the mix and yeah, uh, however today goes, I'm not too fast, um, but just happy to see everyone here. So yeah. excited to race. It's time to leave, but I want one word just from Jesse. Thanks. Cheers. Because man, what a season. Roller coaster. Uh, yeah.
in all honesty. I don't feel like my day's going very well at the moment. I feel just quite tired. Um, I just want to say already a massive thank you to everyone who has been shouting on the way up to this stage here. I can't believe how many people there are watching and I want to thank every single one of you for being here and supporting. Crazy atmosphere, it felt like a World Cup. Never been to an event really that's been like that, so kudos to you all um, helping me push through. <sighs> Up to the next one. Alright. That's good. Alright, yeah, just try and stay smooth. Yeah. <coughs>
82. I lost my back to back to fast practice. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good one. Oh, yeah, that's one of my eyes. So that's all the footage I got. I was using the GoPro Hero 8, which does not have very great battery life. And I had the 256 gig card in there as well, so I think it just swallowed up the battery life. Um, I did record, you know, a little bit prior to starting the stages and a little bit after, so it drained the battery quickly. I'm gutted I didn't get the rest of the stages in. But other than that, like, mind blown. What a crazy day um really overwhelming the support as you saw in the videos was something i've never experienced before um if it wasn't for the crowd and everyone there that was that was shouting and cheering and spectating i probably wouldn't have pushed um a little bit harder so I'm for sure blown away and so thankful for everyone that showed up, everyone that gave support, asked for photos, signing stuff, um, just congratulating me, telling telling me to keep going and keep pushing on. It really meant a lot and made such a difference. Um, as far as my race went, um, I felt like it was real, a bit of a roller coaster of a weekend, really. Like, I started. The pro stage off obviously on Saturday and slotted into third, which was, uh, I mean, super surprising for me. I set a goal of a top 30 over the course of the weekend, uh, and I would have been happy with the top 30 on the Saturday pro stage, but to get third was cool, um, which then automatically meant I was seeded differently for Sunday's race. So I was put to the very back with. Um, Jack Moyer, Martin Mays, 
Jesse Melamed, uh, Kevin McHale. Um, man, it was a stacked list of writers. Um, they've been killing it all year long, obviously, and their racecraft is absolutely 100% sharp as could be. My racecraft is not. Um, so it was quite strange being at the back all of a sudden with the guys that have been killing it all year long and at the top and winning races. Um, it was a big adjustment, a little bit of a shock to the system and yeah, just trying to, I guess, push a pace that's somewhat similar to theirs was difficult. Uh, even though they're my local tracks and I live here, it's I have the best knowledge of where the tracks go, but as far as line choice, conditions, um, the tracks just blew apart huge holes, routes where I've never seen routes before. Um, the conditions were muddy, um, more muddy than normal as well, which which was crazy to see. The tracks were just, yeah, pretty much destroyed is the best way to, to, to describe it. Um, especially that first one, um, the climb at the start, like just pedaling up that hill, like those guys shouting gave me motivation to get up that hill. And carry speed into the next but the best i could so whoever you are massive thanks and i appreciate that it was sick to see um you were in the right spot so yeah re that was really cool to experience and then yeah just again the crowd i couldn't believe it um it's like like a world cup like just lined the whole way down the track it was really really cool um and then yeah like i said i was uh felt like i didn't feel like my day was going very well I felt like I was sloppy and a bit fatigued, but I think everyone was. So I was surprised to see 13th and 14th on the first two stages, which is real consistent. I'm real happy with that. That was a physical stage and I'm not in great shape right now at all. Um, and then I didn't know my result throughout the day. So I was just going off how I felt. Uh, going into the fifth stage, I felt good. I actually ended up having a little bit of a crash tweaked my bars a bit, I had to try and straighten them back up and I knew Martin was coming and um, I could hear him behind me as I was getting towards the end, I could hear him pretty much um, behind me with the crowd. So I lost a good, I'd say at least 15, 15 to 20 seconds there, which would have put me still in the top 10. Um, and then yeah, uh, ended up doing the last stage, that was kind of solid but I was definitely fatigued I think I got in a bit of a panic after my after my crash and that for sure elevated my heart rate and then yeah ended up 19th overall for me I think that's something that I can be proud of um, obviously I've had better results in EWS before but this was my first one this year first time against all these dudes um, since last year and uh yeah, considering the shape I'm in, I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> I'm not unfit, but I'm definitely not in great shape uh, like I was at one point, and certainly not on the level, of course, of what I used to be and what the guys I was racing against are. So next year, we come back here in June for the first round. So I've made it sure, and I promise to myself that I'm going to dedicate time this winter to train and work towards that so that I can come in knowing confidently that I'm fit and strong and uh, come out swinging and hopefully get on that podium is the plan, that would be amazing. Uh, this year that was just a little bit unrealistic, but the times were tight. Looking at the times now, I really wasn't that far off, um, off the top five. So that's cool for me to see and inspire and I think. Um, but yeah, all in all, crazy weekend. Um, still blown away. I watched the footage back and it gives me goosebumps just because it was something I wasn't expecting was the support from from people. So thank you so much. I hope you all had a mint weekend. I know that I did. It was it was uh, something I'll remember for a long, long, long time. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video as well. Um, that's race season over. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what's next. <laughs> we'll wait and see, but stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you give the video a like, comment below as well. And if you aren't subscribed already and you're new here, then please give the channel a subscribe and you'll be tuned for upcoming videos. So again, thank you to every single one of you that was here supporting, every one of you that commented on my videos, that watched the race, um, really blown away. So thank you all. Peace out. See you in the next one.